I am back and with some more Assassin's Creed Odyssey. We're on episode 68. And I'm more or less continuing on as usual um, from last episode. Um, and yeah, we're just going to crack on. Uh, we mostly were question marking to the last episode. Um, and we just did uh, one of them tomb things. Uh, what was it? Tomb of it. <laughs> We did that. Um, and yeah, I think we've done mostly all the question mark. And I don't think there's stuff down here she can do. No. Oh man, I've got quite a few photos down here. Oh, there's some old ones. <laughs> I love how it's got all old photos. <laughs> oh, that was that was from this playthrough. <coughs> um, because we got two quests down here. Um, which could probably try out. Um, and then yeah, my idea is I want to go to this island afterwards. I want to go up here, because there's two um, quarters up there, and I think it, it'd be good to get them out, cut them off <laughs> the list, because there's like two perfectly good kills there. Um, but yeah, we're just going to continue on as usual, I'm really loving it as always, it's just so relaxing playing this. Um, I'm pretty much trying to do two this rotation in today and tomorrow on Twitch. Um, so today I've done uh, the Halo Wars episode seven, the last Assassin's Creed, this Assassin's Creed, and then tomorrow, which will be up, Halo Five Guardians. Um, I'll be starting that up today on Twitch, but that'll be up tomorrow. Um, and then tomorrow on Twitch, I'm going to be doing all the evening videos, so two State of Decay and two Grounded. Um, and yeah, I'm more or less back on track, I think. Um, and now that I'm a bit back on track and I can export videos, I, I was kind of tempted to have a day off, like just so that I'm a bit rested again. Um, where I just have one day where I don't focus on streaming. I might do it Monday and Tuesday. I'm thinking. I'm not 100%. Um, just to think, like, um, just to reset myself, because it's been such a weird past month, and I'm thinking it'd probably do me good to just turn off for a few days, even though I probably won't. <laughs> like, it'll come to Monday where I'm like, I I'll have a day off. And I'm like, kind of want to play a video game though, but then when I play video games, I'm like, I might as well stream it. <laughs> like, this whole stream has become my life right now. Like, if anyone watched it, the knew me in real life, they'd be like, why the fuck are you doing this? <laughs> I, I would never expect you to do streaming and all that stuff. And I wouldn't. But... When I've been living on my own and I, I just ain't got anything to keep me distracted, this has become such a good distraction. I highly recommend, I've said it so many times, if you are thinking about streaming or doing videos, just do it. Like, Just do it for yourself. If, if, and if you don't like it, don't do it. If you don't click with it, don't do it. Like, I, if I didn't click doing this and I didn't enjoy it and I felt a bit embarrassed still after a while, I'd be like, yeah, why am I doing this? I'll leave. But it's become something that I like to do. Um, and that's the thing. I don't really care if people watch or not. Like, if people come across my videos and like it, then they get something out of it, don't they? Um... Uh, at the moment, this is just... 
Oh, that was so close. Oh my god. He fucking looked at me in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't. I, I've got to go around. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend giving it a go if you think, like, if you're not thinking about it, don't, because it's easier not to, and it. And if you like, for me, it's. Making me enjoy games a bit more. Because, um, like, before I was playing games for the trend of it. Like, I buy a new game just because it, I saw a tr nice trailer on it. And it's like, oh, why am I buying a new game when I'm enjoying the games I'm currently playing? Like, State of Decay or something. Like, my. Like, that's the thing. That's one thing we're all um, accustomed to, ain't we? We, saw, we see a nice, cool trailer from E3 or something, and we're like, I'm gonna get that when it comes out. I'll, I'll bring you a bit, and it's like, but then all of us have a game that we come back to, um, and it's like you don't necessarily need to buy that get that sixty pound game. You don't necessarily need to buy it on launch. No way. But the trailers and everything, and the hype, and the first exclusive gameplay from E. IGN, like all this shit that is given to us. Um. Oh no, no, no. We need to get out. We're just constantly thinking, oh, I've got to play this game, or else people, I won't have nothing to talk about. I'm not sure. It's horrible to be spoiled, but. Um. I, I, it's just, I don't know. Like. And the thing is, if people did spoil you on something, um, like that hype for that game or that product isn't going to be there forever. And you're going to think, like, like, if I've got spoiled on something, um, there's a good chance in a few. There's a good chance in a few, um... Come on! Why do you do the... Oh wow, there's a conquest battle for I could Is there? Or is that just me? Or is it for that? Yeah, we're not. You're never gonna lose that kid there, are you? <laughs> for some reason, that's impenetrable. I know it's probably history, like. Akita never fell to Spartans. Um, but it would be kind of just for the game. Loot treasures. Uh. Job be done. Um.
Right, we're uh, back on. Oh, did I find everything then? Oh no, there's thing down here. Uh, I thought there was another one down here. Or did I? I guess this went through there without noticing. How bad is it to get across that water? My fast travel, maybe. I know I never do that, but instead of running around for the sake of it, just that side of the ponta. And this is a boat here. Now I can do drive this thing. Kind of cool if I could. <laughs> GTA this bitch. Yeah, we'll fast travel. Sort of swim in it like a like a wood you should do. Oh yeah, I think I did see a Christian Mark there. <laughs> Look at me, I'm like Christian Mark <laughs> Christian Mark uh. Oh yeah, look we're getting quite a few masks on the board now. I do like that. That's one thing they did. Did they do it for? Or I think they did it for Origins, where the more people you killed off, the more like I can't remember what it was like in Origins, but there was like a distortion on the loading screen, like like this, where there's more masks popping up. It's pretty cool. I think I saw, yeah, there it is. Look how pretty it is. I am coming more and more around to the idea of playing um Origins after this. Whoa, whoa, sorry guys, sorry, 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 go now. <laughs> kind of ridiculous you can't go through a public place. <laughs> you can imagine like anyone, like just someone wandering through. Whoa, what is wrong with that cloud? That looked really weird. <clears throat> it's like a building. Oh, it's fixing itself. <laughs> the cloud is fixing itself. Instead of it being a box, it's a cloud shape now. Do the clouds move? Never really noticed it. Probably, pr they probably move at one frame per second or something. They do distort on that a little bit. Now that's one thing in um. Uh, what was it? Um. Uh, in Red Dead Redemption 2, man, the I've done a few streams on Red Dead 2, but like the weather in that game, man. Like that, like <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2 is next gen before next gen ke even came out. <laughs> um, I'm surprised that they haven't released like an upgraded next gen Red Dead. Like th I know they've done an upgrade in everything. Well, I'm very surprised that they haven't done like a remaster sort of just like you think take two they would cash in another Red Dead sale um, but no they would rather resell GTA 5 <laughs> which is ridiculous but oh, they're only doing it for the online Oh, my 
my god, I got away with that. Yes, that was good. Fuck it, yeah, that was good. Yeah. But yeah, I'm surprised that instead of... That would have been probably a better announcement, to be honest, for next gen than having a remaster of GTA 5, which everyone just cringed at, because we've had it before. They should have done it for Red Dead Redemption 2. And have a load of new features. Well, not features, but like upgrades. More, I don't know. I really don't know what they could do. Like, they could do loads of stuff for Red Dead 2. Um, because, like, that's one thing that got me to make... That's one thing that made me get um, Next Gen for Xbox One. Was when they did GTA 5 Remaster. But that was because... Um, you had it on 360 and having a really good upgrade of a game that's just only really just come out. It just made sense that that's more of an enticement to buy next gen. Like, now that GTA 5 has been out for a while, you don't want to buy it again. Um, I think a better thing would be like Red Dead Redemption 2 remastering that. I know it's so stupid to remaster a game that's been out, but like you're just a port of that to next gen, a new version. Uh, with upgraded graphics, well, Red Dead 2 looks amazing as it is, but improved visuals, frame, well, they, I think they've done that in the upgrade anyway, but you know what I mean, like, they could add anything, more content, more story even, um, not for the online, like, the online for a dead online is dead, um, but even then, it could be like, even then, that's at least something. They're like, oh, we've done a load more. We've done a load of new content for Red Dead Online. That sort of thing. That would be somewhat good because Red Dead Online's dead right now. They do stupid fucking updates to that game. Um, or like maybe Red Dead Redemption 2 remaster, and it includes a remaster of Red Dead Redemption 1. Or Red Dead Redemption 2 Undead Nightmares get included. Something crazy. That would have been way more popular than with GTA 5. Um, and for it to be a console exclusive, not a con, like next gen exclusive. Um, they make a ton of money from that, I think. But no, they wanna they wanna ride that GTA train with remastering the old gun like. Let's just hope their remasters for GTA, like the old GTA games are good remasters and not not just the port they did from mobile. Like the San Andreas that you can play on 360, that they uh, that you can play through backwards compatibility. It's just the mobile version ported to Xbox Xbox 360, um, and that was buggy as hell. Like I I play I've got um, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Um, and I played it, and I got through halfway through the game, and I saved it. And then the save crashed, and I, I lost half playthrough. And um, if you've ever played Saints Row, it can be kind of irritating playing through the game. <laughs> like some of the missions are really kind of bad. Um, now some of the missions are very. <laughs> it's like the old school game bullshit where you, if you die you got to start from the beginning and all that uh. but Saints Row is a classic like, uh, it, if they've improved a lot of good stuff and make it worth playing through again um, and you'll be interested to see what they do with the older games not just Saints um, San, I say Saints Row, San Andreas you'll be interested to see what they do with um like the really old ones, like Grand Theft Auto th Vice City, I think they're doing. And Grand Theft Auto 3, I think. <laughs> I can't remember what's in that bundle that they're doing. But if they can do, like, if any, you know what would have been better? If they did a remake. Like, you know what they did with Mafia? If they did something like that for GTA, the old GTA game, that would be. 
that that would be what Rockstar would be known for doing. Like, well, not known for doing, but like, um, that would be the effort that you would expect from Rockstar to do. Whereas a remaster is very like Ubisoft or EA, just just a cash grab. Um, like, there's been a few good remasters from them publishers, but. Uh, most of them are very cheap, especially this, especially the Assassin's Creed ones. Um, they're like a lottery, so most of them are just a port. Um, like, why is it you release prisoners and they're like? I'll run through the whole camp in front of everyone. Sorry, doggy. Oh man, I was just thinking that would have been all like because I haven't played the Mafia remake things, but. That was a really cool um, thing that they did for the that radio. Uh, I think it's the first Mafia game where they properly remade it. Um, that was really cool. Like that's something that Rockstar should do. Like that remake wasn't perfect. Um, I, I think a lot of people said it's just not as immersive as the original and all that stuff. Um, like they took a load of the cop, like police. Interactions with the police and everything. Um, but like for GTA, it'd be really good to have like a remake of an older GTA. Like maybe remaster some of them games. Sorry, doggy. I uh, sure maybe maybe remake the the oldest one or something. Uh, the, like the easiest one to remake, maybe. No, something like San Andreas, I don't think they would do that, because that's like a really big GTA game. I think people would love it, but I think that'd be too much, I think. But like Vice City or something, I think they could do a really cool remake of that. Remake of it. Bitch. Oh. What should I do? What should I do? <laughs> you luckily you he was quite lucky I was fighting him on a beach. He's like, what should I do? <laughs> when there's a fucking ocean behind him. <laughs> Job done. Oh, if only we could sit down like in the older Assassin's Creed. Man, if I was this badass as a character, I would, like, if I was this powerful, I wouldn't freaking go across the whole continent exploring. I'd be like, I'm gonna just steal a place, take it as my own, and just live there. And then every time someone comes to get trouble, then you just kill them, take their stuff, and then you stay there more. <laughs> Oh, there's a thing there. Kind of thing. I know it'd be stupid. Oh no. Let Let's um. Free speech. Oh dear. 
Are we going to get political in this episode? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> nah, I'm being stupid. Let's, let's do the quest first before I think about doing... Before I think about doing... So it's on the way. Be stupid to go and do that question mark first and not do the quests. Yeah. Alright Cassandra, yeah, just don't stop climbing. <laughs> well, this just thing is, we've still got quite a lot of this game to get through. Before we start thinking about Odyssey anyway. I I'll keep bringing it up because it's just, I'm looking forward to the future and I. But I, I do have the DLCs for this, so we've got, um, what is it, I think, oh, what, hid, last of the Hidden Blades ones, um, what's it, um, I think I got them, hang on, what are they called, Fall of Atlantis isn't it, uh, Legacy of the First Blade, that's it. And the fate of Atlantis. So we'll, we'll probably play through them. Um, and I don't think they were that long to play through. Like some of the worlds in fate are like, like the um, Legacy of the First Blade, that's just more quests in this world. Like world. It's nothing major, but um, in the, all the maps that are in uh, f uh, the Fate of Atlantis, some of the maps are amazing. Um, they're really, really pretty. Oh, look. Our boat docked up. I saw a video on YouTube. Um, they are, like, restoring one of these. Um... I don't know whether they will actually use it though. Like they said that uh, like the video that it was just them making it, like working on it. One of them boats and the. It'd be cool to see one of them actually being sailed around. Um. Come on, people, clean up your mess. Good to be back in Athens. It's been a minute. It's kind of nice that you leave a place that you've grinded through, and then you come back and there's more quests. Yeah, like out of a lot of games you buy, like sure you don't need every game that's 100, 200 hours long. Like that's that'd be too much. But you gotta say, I, I do think you get your money's worth out of this, no problem. Um, daylight left. Like it's not for everyone, but I think you get your money's worth easy. Like exploring ancient Greece, you can't beat it. Like it's, it's like pretty much close to a time machine. You get a chance to. Um, the same with. Odyssey, like, it's like a time machine. You're getting a chance to go back to ancient Greece or ancient Egypt. I'm sure it's not probably accurate, but it's pretty close. Like, it's pretty amazing that we're able to get something pretty close in, in general. Um, when before you just have to read books or look at pictures or um, just use your imagination almost. Um, or not be interested at all because it's just like ugh, history. It's like oh school. <laughs> you just get fucking BTSD from school. The boring lessons you had to sit through. But man, can you imagine having? If, if I was studying, if I was playing Assassin's Creed and Ancient Greece popped up now, I'd be there for it. <laughs> um.
Now we did some ancient Egypt back at school, but it was like it was, was alright. <laughs> uh, talk about the pyramids for a bit, but then it's like yeah. But then you have something like Assassin's Creed. Uh, it's, that's one thing Assassin's Creed does really good is that it does make you look like um, every time I watch Black Flag, I always find myself watching stuff on pirates. Um, Because when you actually start looking up, you can see how much research they put into like the Assassin's Creed games, how close they try and get it. I'm sure they take liberties, but if you look up do um, documentaries on ancient Greece... I wonder how many scraps Hermipos has received from Cleon's table. If you, if you watch uh, documentaries on uh, ancient Greece or uh, pi uh, pirates and you what play Assassin's Creed, you can see like they put a lot of effort into detail in history and everything. And I'm sure they just play around with it and put in Assassin's Creed in it. But um, it's, it's really nice when you can learn like that. It's good. Hermipos has gone too far, Socrates. Pericles gave everything to Athens. Yet we must still hear of Cleon's greatness. Aristophanes, have you not done seemly things to Hermipos? How dare you compare me to that man? His plays are a nuisance. Something I could come up with in an afternoon, and a drunken one at that. Mine are for a clever audience. The same audience you judge. Should it not be clever enough? Careful, Socrates. Else I make you a character in one of my plays. Do you agree with Socrates that Hermipos should say what he wants? Um... They're only words. Yeah. Hermipos should be able to say what he wants. No matter what he says. Yes. What if he devoted his life to slandering you? Not just in Athens, but throughout the land. Saying what he wants so. doesn't mean he would escape my spear. Then everything we say has a consequence, even if we are allowed to say it. A an intriguing thought, wouldn't you agree? If you have such an issue with Hermipos, why not do something about it yourself? I'd like to. But I haven't been able to find him. Maybe you'd have better luck. It can't be that hard to find Hermipos. That's what I thought as well. Maybe he's afraid I'll find him. Once Hermipos is in front of you, what are you going to say? I'm not entirely sure yet, but I promise you it will be a grand spectacle. <laughs> it almost sounds like you're jealous of Hermipos. Ha! Me? <laughs> Envious of him? Making someone sad is easy, but making someone laugh takes true skill and talent. <laughs> this old quest, it just feels like someone, someone who, whoever wrote this um, quest is like, they're probably the sort of person that been on Twitter too long. Because <laughs> you could imagine this is incorporated into how people treat one another on Twitter. Wherever it's Hermipos is, I'll find him. I hope you exact do. His of it. residence would be a good place to start. Free speech. Let's go. Greater Athens. It's usually guarded. Lives in uh, his house in the northern part of the Great Athens. Okay, here it is. I don't want to do that. I just like the superhero landing. Dougie. I like it. That's one thing. There's no car noises in Assassin's Creed. There's no engine or like mumbling or it's. Just... 
Just people talking. And you're annoying people singing. But that's nicer than a plane going overhead, isn't it? Like Hermipus is here. I should take a look around. <laughs> It'd be kind of weird if there was a vehicle, like you could hear the car or something in. <laughs> this is a great odyssey, but. I should try to stay out of sight. It's something that you don't really pick up. It's like um, people uh, during the COVID outbreak. And people were in lockdown. And people were just like, I think it was like during the summer when people could go out a bit more. Um, people were like, I could hear birds for once. <laughs> or like people were really scared because they were like, where are all the planes going? <laughs> Problem is we never have time to listen. Gary. And most of the time... Most of the time we spend it with our... No, 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 no. What the fuck? <laughs> most of the time we spend it with headphones on or just something going on. Because um, I do it as well. It's like, oh, what's the next thing am I going to watch? Sort of thing. Instead of just like sitting in the garden or something. Chilling air, relaxing. Well, I gotta say, this, this this is pretty much just as good as sitting in the garden and playing a bit of Assassin's Creed. And I do go out in the garden plenty with in grounded. <laughs> I'm legit in the ground most of the time in grounded. From the cult of Cosmos, Hermipus oh must dear. be a member. How do you know? Could be anyone's mask. The cultist could have, the cult could have put it there. Looks like Cleon made notes for Hermipus on his play. Everyone's a writer. Hey mate, <laughs> it's funny how <laughs> I'd hate to be that guard in slow mo. He's like, why the fuck is everything slowed down? <laughs> I think they've done that in some comedies, ain't they? Probably in like a Matrix, like me, like um, skit, where everything slows down and the guards are like relaxed. No, it was like, uh, what was it? In uh, the Justice League film. When uh, the Flash was running at Superman. And Superman, he looks in the corner of his eye. <laughs> and then Flash is like, oh shit. <laughs> it's like um, Superman matched his speed. What was that? Come on, Cassandra, what are you doing? I'll say though that um, Snyder Cut is pretty good. I didn't like the whole box thing that he did though. Like you cut it into like a square. But that kind of bothered me a little bit. Like, he was trying really hard to make it a bit artsy. <laughs> uh, but it's still pretty good. Like, um, it's just a shame that we're never going to see Ben Affleck as Batman in his own film. Because that's one thing that's really just 
really sad with the DC universe is that really Batman, like Ben Affleck never got to show him for someone like Hermipos. do his, his own film on his own. He always had to rely on other people. And because then other people might not have helped that film get any better. Or like the directors were shit or the writers were shit. Um, it kind of made that Batman have a taint on it. And it's just a shame really. Um, and now we've got a whole new Batman with Robert Patterson. And it's like, come on, you could have you could have kept Ben Affleck on a little bit more. Um, because they, they had a really good Batman with Ben Affleck and a pretty good, um, what was his name? Uh, uh, Alfred. Like that, like the, uh, new Alfred in Ben Affleck's. What the fuck? I was just wondering. <laughs> now you want to kill me. <laughs> but like, that was a really cool Alfred, I think. It was a bit of, um, Alfred was pretty much in like the, um, Snyderverse, he was pretty much Iron Man's, uh, Jarvis almost, but a real life human. <laughs> um, I think it was pretty cool. And it's just a shame he never got a film around it. I mean, we're about to as well. That's the only annoying thing is that we, we pretty much had it. <laughs> but oh well, I guess we'll see what they do. Like that's the thing, DC Universe is fucked. <laughs> it's just mon. It's not. I. Uh, but to be honest, it's probably going to be better than what Marvel was doing. But what is it? I couldn't mm. find Armipos. But I did find out something about him. He's a member of the cult of Cosmos. Then it's no wonder he attached himself so closely to Cleon. Discrediting Pericles and his beliefs in Athens would benefit Hermipos and the cult, I'd imagine. Hermipos is definitely a problem. Do you still believe he should say what he wants, Socrates? I know not what I think, nor what I know. Ah, yes, you deserve a play of your own. <laughs> what is a leader if he hides behind the walls he built himself? Send me fire, storm, or sickness, but bring me justice for my city. Oh, we're going to be dealing with a cold cyst today. I wasn't expecting that. So much for free speech, now we're going to kill this guy. <laughs> be kind of cool to be able to have an option on whether to kill a cultist or not. Because some of these cultists, they do have a little bit of moral to them, like they've got a reason why they're doing it. Like that would have been kind of a cool system is where like Say you've got a cultist that's in the slave trade, but you've got an option to mercy, like, somewhat like, um, what game did it? I swear there was, no, it was, um, a bit like in Shadow of War, where, like, you have an option to kill that orc or something, or you've got, like, an option to recruit or shame him, like, really mess with his head. Maybe you have something like that in, um, Assassin's Creed where with a cultist or something you have a situation where you know their background like they might be a slave owner and it's like okay I'm gonna kill this guy just but you've got a choice like you've got to like and maybe maybe if you kill him like there's a consequence or maybe if you keep him alive there's a reward like there's, there's like different outcomes um that would that'd be kind of a cool system. Do you have my seals yet? Is it, it's, it's pretty uh, it's pretty good in um uh Shadow of War with that system. I know it'd be completely different, but like when you're recruiting people in that, it's like uh they might not be that good, so I'll kill them. Or I'll shame them. Um 
But actually, they won't be able to do that because it's the same system. Because I think Warner Bros. patented the uh, Nemesis system. So I don't think anyone can make something like that again. So I doubt it'll be in Assassin's Creed then. This is the same. Yes, um, I have the seals for you. This will show those idiots in the assembly. We're making progress. Interested in getting rid of more polemicoses for me? I'm interested. I'm impressed with your work. Did you expect any less? I had hoped, but hiring you was a gamble. Most things in life are. I am perhaps a bit more willing to gamble than my fellow generals would like. If you take no risks, you win no wars. Exactly. How is it a mercenary understands this when the greatest generals of Athens don't? I'm not sure whether I should feel flattered or insulted. The Spartans are trying to find our supply lines. We've caught several spies already. We cannot afford such a loss. Not if you want to keep your troops alive, no. I need you to kill more of their commanders. Leave their hoplites without leadership. They'll be scrambling. Are you sure? Spartans are fierce warriors. Warriors, yes. Thinkers, no. They react like wild animals. Put them in a situation that requires genuine thought, and they fall apart. Kill the commanders and bring me their seals. We'll see Again? how the generals react to that. You serious? You your seals. The sooner the better. Actually, I already have them. I may have killed oh. a few more Spartan commanders oh. than you've mentioned. An overachiever. Maybe you are okay. as good as they say. Would you be interested in more work? I thought I thought I had, I thought I completed the whole set of how many you wanted, and then he was like, "Can you go and do even more?" Um, I'm always interested in more work. I was worried about employing a mercenary, but you've been a pleasant surprise. Yes, that's what they all call me—a pleasant surprise. I suspect if they call you anything offensive, they don't live long. I couldn't say. At least I have you working with me, instead of getting in my way. Are the generals giving you trouble? <sighs> they refuse to acknowledge I know what I'm doing. But it doesn't matter. I'll get the job done, and eventually all of Athens will know it. Why is Are he going very work? feminine for? He's going very feminine. I'll get you <laughs> Thank you. First, I have some questions. Who does a general like you look up to? You know who was a true hero? I'm guessing you're about to tell me. Odysseus. He used his wits to triumph. Wily Odysseus, they call him. Without him, the Trojan War would have been lost. And the other generals understood that. What do you think your future holds? Victory or death. You don't stay a general for long if you don't win battles. I suppose many generals die on the field. <laughs> Not the majority. The Athenian people are the greatest threat to a general's life. If you displease them, They'll remove you from office, ostracize you, or even condemn you to death. And you want this job? There is no greater purpose than the glory of Athens. <laughs> it's my duty and my honor. Why is it I always find you here? Athena is the goddess of wisdom and war. What better place for a general to ask for blessings? You don't seem very devout to me. I'm not the first general in my family. My father was as well, and his father before him. You would have learned military thinking from a young age. Exactly. My grandfather brought me here when I was a child. He stood me here and told me Athena was our patron. That we must always offer her our respect on the eve of war. He sounds like a wise man. He was. He died in battle the next day. You come here to remember him. And to remember that though the gods may be our patrons, they will not always protect us. He's very weird with his hand on his hip like that. <laughs> you be you, man, Jesus. <laughs> that was, um... Do you have my seals yet? Not yet. Return when you do. Man, he wants more? Fucking hell. I thought I'd got him all. He was like just catching up almost. Oh, 
Where is that mission then? I've got a ton of mi missions done. I've got a lot of XP that I can claim right now. Probably gonna pop up now. Fifty thousand XP. That's pretty good. So you want more bloody seals, really? Okay. Let's go and get this cultist. Hey. Probably do try. I'll probably try and do the quest after this. Yeah. Now I'll try and do a stream on Halo Five after this. I probably even have time to upload them tonight. It is crazy. The export feature for state uh, for Twitch is so handy. Like <laughs> I did upload my videos yesterday because the export feature is working now. Wow, well, no, I uploaded them today. Um, some videos and it, it's working now. And it four videos only took thirty minutes, half an hour. Uh, probably a little bit longer because you have to put I put the description. Um, Fill out all the details and all that stuff, and put all the tags in. So it's a little, little bit time, but when it was downloading the uh, videos and then uploaded, it took over way, probably three to four hours. Some, like, it depends on how long the videos were, but it was getting really long to upload stuff and. Close. Of course he's guarded. Guy. All right. I really doubt. <laughs> uh oh. Why? Why? What the fuck? You guys, then. I'm going after your boy. Uh, Alright, mate. This is where you found. <laughs> <mine> <laughs> hey, guys, that good job, though. Uh, Whoa, guys, come on. How did you do that? Get the fuck out. Alright guys, calm down. Calm down, boys. Oh, 
Hi, people. Oh shit, they're bad. Ow. <laughs> Whoa, this is a nice place. Oh, very nice. That was easy to get away then. They somewhat gave up on that, didn't they? So we got the codes, that's good. Now really, looking at this, it kind of shows... how far away we are from completing the game, when you think about it. So, so we've... Eh, just over halfway, I reckon. Um, and then there's a hole. I think there's a hole. Um, isn't there a... Or is that in a Odyssey? Origins. No. I thought there was like a system in Origins. It was either Origins or in this, or it might be part of the DLC. Where there might be another list of... Hunt, um list of people to hunt down Let's uh, do this next quest, shall we? Rock hard. Hmm, lovely. Let me guess, is it that, um, what's his name? Procratus? A very sexual person that we keep bumping into and he can't stop talking about his cock. He's fucking sex mad. With everything he sees, it's fucking disgusting. Not to be, yeah, what a surprise. You have the habit of appearing the moment I need you. What a power I may wield. Is there ever a time you don't need me? Good point. A drunk politician you had me take home? We ran into a bit of trouble. That's terrible! I'm glad to see you're okay. Yes. Thankfully, we both made it out alive. Oh, I see. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. You seem disappointed. I'm just... Uh, impressed you were able to save the both of you. You said you needed something? Ah, to business already? Fine. It's simple, really. There's an item that holds great sentimental value I'd like you to retrieve. <laughs> What do I need to find? It's an Olisvos. If you saw it on the ground, even you wouldn't bend over uh, to pick it up. But it means so much to me. To hold it again would mean more than you know. I never <laughs> took you for someone who cared for sentimental things. I'm so much more than my beautiful face and flowing blonde locks. Like what? Well, let's see. People forget I'm an orphan. That Pericles isn't my father. I know what it's like to lose family, too. Ah, <sighs> we have that in common. There's more to you than I thought, Miss Theos. Now, where were we? You're a big boy. 
Get it yourself. I sure am. <laughs> but there's a small chance the woman who has it won't exactly be happy to see me again. There has to be a story behind this thing. When you see the Olisvos, you'll know. When you have it in your hands, against your skin, when you feel the weight of it, you'll know. Uh. Uh. Every time we talk, it seems like you're about to sleep with someone, or want to, or you've just finished. Yes. <laughs> Is this woman the most recent one? Who said I slept with her? It was a safe guess. How do you find time for anything else? Determination, mostly. There's a closeness you can only feel with someone in those moments. Who wouldn't crave that? I'll get the olives bus for you. There's a small chance weird, the woman man. may wish to keep it for herself, uh, to spite me. It may be best to go unseen and hurry back. She lives east of here. Don't worry. You'll have it in your hand soon. It's made out of stone. I guess that could work. I kind of want to see what it is. Like, what is it? It could be anything in here. Um. No idea. Ah, that's oh, you did it though. <laughs> you brought it. Hmm. It's different than I remember it looking. And much bigger too. She's going to miss it. This was never yours, was it? You had me steal it. We didn't just steal an Olisphos. We stole a family heirloom and a husband's confidence. Without it, he'll be focused on his wife instead of his business. I think she'll enjoy the change of pace. <laughs> you lied! Again! I don't think I did. I was very particular with my words. You said it was sentimental. It is, just not to me. There wasn't a single lie. That's not how it feels. The only thing that matters is you retrieved the Olisphos and helped me a great deal. What about me? Now, now, we wash each other's backs, don't we? There's a reason you never turn me down, after all. How about I show you how this Olisphos can make all the difference? Oh. That's not what I meant. Guess I can turn you down after all. I deserve that. Fucking pervert. Some self dignity. Why are these guys? Second one. There won't be a third. Oh, what? What are you going to do, mate? Go away. Oh, sh oh shit. It's kicked off. Fuck. Keep watch. Hey, fuck you. Oh god. Oh my guys. god. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Okay. I, okay. Okay. I deserve that. 4,000. Okay. <laughs> Man, that ability is fucking lethal. Well, I wish it was a bit more lethal, to be honest. It's not that powerful. It's just shooting four balls out, so he, out, like, having that sort of an ability. So over the top. It's brilliant. Uh, I was kind of, I was kind of expecting to do that quest. Well, legit do it, not just... Oh yeah, actually, finish off by going there, doing that. Then we'll end that there for today. Um, it's gonna take us a minute to get there. Though. Let's hope no one notices me here. You'd 
Hard. Why is it semi restricted? It like I'm sure it's a city. Yeah. Nothing changes. Arrive at Popper our way out. Hey. Get four boss. Make the journey a bit quicker. Goodbye Athens for now. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Crow flies. Yeah. Oh, let's have a look at that. Ah, wow. Yeah. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. I gotta get a photo. Wow. That looks great, doesn't it? I bet it looks, I bet it's so much nicer on next gen. I don't think it's been changed visually, but I think frame rate and everything has just been updated. Which is nice, it's nice that we're getting that with older games for next gen. Um, I just hope the next gen consoles last, you know. Because you have horror stories of new consoles where um, they release and it only takes a year before they have problems. It's why I haven't bought a. Like, I would like to have a Switch, Nintendo Switch, because it, it's quite a good. And that's something that I wouldn't mind having. Uh, just for like traveling and everything. Or like going going to work or something. Or I have a break and I ain't got much to do. Um. But I, I think people have said like if you buy the normal switch where oh like I was gonna buy the um the smaller one that's a little bit cheaper and it's just the put like the port like pretty much the DS version of the switch where it's just the portable uh variation of it. Uh but um Apparently, he's still got like the issue of the uh, Joy Cons with the, the uh, like the, the sticks on the controllers for the Switch. Um, uh, they they get uh, uh, what's it? What are they call stick drift? There's a name for it. I can't remember the name for it. Um, and if you have that for like the one that's just, and it is, it's still a problem for, uh, oh, hang on. and it's still a problem for the port, like just the all-out portable switch. So that's kind of bad because, like, at least with the normal switch, you can buy the new if. It's controllers break, like the uh, Joy-Cons break, you can buy new ones. Um, where the fuck is this?
Whoa. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe it's near the boat. There's like a thing in the boat. <coughs> Whoa. That's pretty good. I think that's pretty like Can't I? You fucking serious? No, come on, Cassandra, go, 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 fuck it, go. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get it right, we're right. Ow. Now that lightning was. I'd say that lighting then is just as... It's pretty close to uh, Red Dead Redemption 2's lightning. I Red Dead Redemption 2 lightning is amazing. But the weather is kind of miserable though. <laughs> it does make you like, oh, I want it to be sunny now. <laughs> Having good lightning in a video game... <coughs> And that's one thing I never really got from Sea of Thieves. Uh, like, I never like the storms are good, but like the lightning never stood out to me in that. What's, what is Phobos doing? Having a little bit of a bathe. I guess I'll leave it here for today and then I'll probably start up Halo 5 in a minute. Um, uh, well, which will be up tomorrow, uh, like I've said. I'll probably premiere it. Um, actually, I don't know whether I've premiered. I know I haven't uploaded it yet. <laughs> Oh, no, it would have been up on YouTube by now. I was going to say I, I need to premiere Halo Wars, but I uploaded it yet as of doing this. Uh, but that'll be premiered as well. Which is before this, so it's no point. <laughs> um, I guess I'll... Yeah, look, we've done over... How many hours now? Probably 93, I reckon. 92. Yeah. And then you add that onto my original time. Two hours. That's probably what we're looking at for this playthrough. Because <laughs> I think that even that includes this DLC as well. Um, so you're probably probably looking at the same somewhat time frame when it comes to. Um, Uh, how long we play through this um, probably got another hundred hours to get through uh, which I'm, I'm up for doing um, there might be a moment where I do get a bit fatigued and I'll have to hold off for a little bit but um, it is a really good game to just come back to it's the same with all my other series like if I really got bored of Grounded or State of Decay it isn't too bad to just hold off for a little bit and do something else um, but right now I'm, I've got full energy on these series and, um, 
And now that I've got the export feature going, it's just going to be so much easier uploading and I can uh, just to focus on playing the games now. Instead of like planning, oh, I've got to do an hour video just to make it easier to download and upload. Like, I don't need to be so strict anymore, which is good. Um, I can just enjoy the game and play for however long I want to play. Um, but yeah, we've got a load of other stuff going on, uh, as usual. They'll be grounded up tomorrow, later on tomorrow, and later on in the evening tomorrow. Oh uh, no, grounded later on today, and later on in the day tomorrow, grounded. And then, like I said, Halo 5 is going to be up tomorrow morning. Uh, it's usually about dinner time, UK time. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, uh, I think that's everything. Uh, there'll be more Assassin's Creed soon. Like, uh, I will more than likely in the next rotation. So after tomorrow's, after tomorrow, the day after, um, it'll be the new rotation. So I might do Assassin's Creed then, and then do Halo, Assassin's Creed Halo for the next rotation. Um, just for the fact I want to play more Halo, Assassin's Creed and I want to do Halo at the same time um, and then if I feel like yeah, I'll probably go back to the four days of Halo just just to get the Halo thing all out and done um, uh, but I'll, I'll see when it comes to it um, and yeah uh, I think I'll leave it there I really enjoyed today I've uh, got a lot cracked on and to be honest, most of the quests were already done. Um, <laughs> we pretty much just redeeming them. Um, it was only that free speech one, and that was still just going here, stealing something, and then coming back. And it was just to find out it's a cult leader. So it's a bit, um, it's a bit entertaining though. But uh, I think that's everything. So I'll leave it here for today. So as always, thanks for watching if you've been watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.